everyone. My name is Mulwa Aditayo. I am a lecturer. I am also an educational neuroscientist. Uh, today, I have this fascinating topic. and uh, It is titled Dopamine Fasting and Detox. Three ideas for escaping dopamine slavery. Let me repeat it. Uh, dopamine Fasting and Detox. Three ideas for escaping dopamine uh, slavery. Okay, dopamine fasting and de detox, okay, simply means, okay, those wise, okay, and ingenious uh, steps, okay, that an individual takes in order to guide against being addicted, okay, to so certain actions, to so certain ac activities, okay, in his or her life. Okay, for example, if you decide that today I am not going to spend about six hours on Facebook, that today... I'm not going to spend eight hours watching Netflix. Okay, these are simple ideas, okay, that, that are connected to what I call dopamine fasting and detox. Uh, that uh, dopamine fasting, okay, and detox, okay, uh, by extension, okay, really uh, means uh, that there, there are steps that an individual can take in order to guide a against what I call dopamine slavery. Dopamine slavery is simply allowing external forces like the social media, okay, like the internet, okay, like a friends who don't have dreams, okay, to influence okay, our decision, to take over control of our lives. If you allow all these dopamine inducing agents, okay, to take control of our lives, we will become slaves. Okay, to dopamine because those activities naturally okay release a dopamine and because they release dopamine okay in the process of engaging in this thing, we think that yes we are okay, we, we are in another world that we, okay, we we feel as if we are special okay, just because dopamine is released in our nervous system but three things that you need to do to take your life back is one okay be neurologically okay informed uh, two, uh, practice modesty. And three, be conscious of pa your personal health. That all these dopamine-inducing activities that you engage it in today, that they will have what? Future fatal consequences. That if you're somebody who, who, who delights, okay, in eating junk foods, okay, going to Mr. Big's, okay, going to tantalizers, going to uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken and others, when you eat there for like five times, do not forget, yes, it will give you dopamine, but do you know what's going to be the consequence of your present actions tomorrow? Please do not be a dopamine slave.